Hey guys, it's Smelly Feet here. Um, this is the second time I've done this commentary. The first time I forgot to put my mic in. And I was going to upload it, but um, I, um, I can't talk properly anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I listened to it, and it just sounded too bad. So I'm going to do it again. Um, so I'm going to tweet this um, video out to JD2020 to... Any designers of Black Ops 2 who I think are designing it or stuff like that, I want them to see this video. So, guys, I need your support a little bit. I need you to like it. I need you to do all this kind of stuff to see, try and get it out this video out there. And if you got any ideas for Black Ops 2, put them in the description down at the bottom. Um, I don't know why I'm doing hand gestures because you can't see me. Um, I'm going to talk about the gameplay. I have absolutely no idea what the gameplay is. I'm just lining up with the commentary to the gameplay when I finish this commentary. Um, so I'm gonna talk about some good stuff what MW3 has done, some bad stuff what MW3 has done, some good stuff MW, M some good stuff Black Ops has done, and some bad stuff Black Ops has done. And then at the end of that, I want to talk about what I want to see in Black Ops 2. So, I've got all this notepad here. Um, guys, if I stop talking, it is because I'm reading and trying to understand my bad spelling. So, I'm, firstly, I'm going to go over what MW3 has done good. Specialist, kill streak stack, weapon proficiencies, cool signs, gold guns. Um, they bring new game types to the series and the mod. Now, some bad things. Obviously, Dead Man's Hand, um, map removal, um, map removal, that's not it, support kill streaks can kill, like the Osprey, um, what else, death streaks made a return, and rewarding bad players, okay, that's really all the bad stuff and the good stuff, there's not really much, I couldn't really find much because I couldn't really turn my PS3 on and look at it because at the moment the PSN is down for 14 hours so I would have looked at more stuff but I just really can't remember so now I'm going to go on to the good stuff what you did in Black Ops so the Blackbird is awesome the combat record was awesome like there's a combat record on MW3 but you have to go to Call of Duty Elite which involves either going it on your computer or going on your PS3 console, a late version, which takes about five minutes, which isn't good. Um, the ability to create a player card. Now, I know that's probably not going to be taken into Black Ops 2 because of what people did with their player card. Um, a customizable gun. Is it going to have a good thing? Um, a reason to get to the highest prestige. On MW3, there's no reason to get to 10th or 15th now. Absolutely no reason. So, a reason to get there. Like on Black Ops 1, there was gold guns. That's what kept me ranking up. Um, zombies, another really good thing. Um, way better stats than MW3. No death streaks. Dogs, really good thing. Chopper gunner. And COD points, um, wager matches, dolphin dive, a hidden gun in the the class, like as a submachine gun, assault rifles. At the end, there was a hidden one, and there was no built-in stuffing power, which is really good because you can get away from gunfights if you want to. I'm, now I'm going to talk about the bad stuff, what they did in Black Ops, which isn't. There's not really much bad stuff. Indeed, you guys made a really good job of Black Ops, and I'd like to see you carry it on through Black Ops 2, but better. Um, second chance. Don't bring that back. Um, I've heard rumours how some game designer who made Black Ops one said, "I don't know why we bring it to the game." So I'm pretty confident they're not going to bring it back again. Um, it took. Use guys on Black Ops to patch something ridiculously long time. It took you a couple months to patch the fans. Don't do that again. 
Um, the maps on Black Ops were too big. There wasn't much action. I would like to see more action. Um, another bad thing is you couldn't see kill streaks while in theatre. I see that it doesn't affect me, but it affects a lot of other people. Uh, I would like to see you, you spawn very, very, very far away from the action on Black Ops. Like for example, you'll be at B on Cracked and you will spawn all the way back in the building at your A spawn like so you need to spawn closer and if you, you guys if you haven't played Black Ops 2 and 1 then you probably won't know what I'm talking about um it wasn't very good graphics from Black Ops it was like a step down from NW2 um so now I want to go over some of the ideas Really, the ideas are just stuff what is good from MW3, stuff what is good from Black Ops. It's just them combined to make the ultimate Call of Duty. So, I'm going to go over what my ideas are. I want the ability to choose whether I want to join a, ma a, a session in progress. So, you should say just before you've just about joined, do you want to join this game? The scores are. And then you can clear so no. Okay. Um, I would like to see specialists make a return, and the Moab, because it's a really good thing to play for, and a lot of people play just to get Moabs, and you're going to keep a lot of good play, a lot of them players in. You got to think about re making them players return from MW3. Um, what else is there? Kill streaks says stack. Bring that back. It's just I like it. It's better than not stacking. Um, I would like to see weapon proficiencies make a turn, uh, return in Black Ops 2. Um, I would like also to see call cool sign and titles. Um, what else should make a return, guys? Um. I'll um, make some new game modes. Like they're getting stale, you know. Like you need to. Call of Duty is getting less and less popular every year. Um, and you guys, if you don't make this one the top of all Call of Duties, you're gonna start losing a lot of money, and not much people are gonna buy a game. Um, I would like a way to get into Elite without shutting down the game on the PS3. It takes a long time and I want you guys to make it quicker and build it into the game. Um, I would like you to see smaller maps. Um, no second chance. I want you to, to patch the game quicker. I would like you to see the weapons balanced more on Black Ops, you didn't do a good job of that. Um, for example, you're using the AK-74, you are you using the Mini Uzi, and you come against someone who's got the AK-74, you who's going to win that battle? Obviously, the AK-74, you. The I've heard about the Mini Uzi is just a pea shooter. It is a piece of crap, and you need to also you need to if people you listen to the community, if they say buff it, buff it, just like MW3 is done with the shotguns. Right. You need to buff things, not just patch them. Make them weaker. <clears throat> um, also, another thing I'd really like to see is you make the content released at the same time. Every single console released at the same time. Don't forget about any of us on the same time. Do not make that damn contract with Microsoft again. No matter what, how much money they give you, you will lose a lot of people in this game if you do that. Um, I don't want you to see it. We will. We will. We're oh, sorry, guys. I do not want you to reward the bad players like you have done in MW3. Um, I would like to see 
a zombie campaign, just like White Boy said, that I just thought about it and it would be awesome if you do that. Um, also, staying on the zombies thing, I would like to see a zombie map with more than four players. It would just be awesome to have 20 or 16 people shooting the zombies around a map. Um, I would like to see a big step forward from Black Ops graphics. Um, I would like to see the dolphin dive return. That would just be awesome. I would take a while to get used to though. And don't try and drop, um, don't try and patch drop shotting because it's a skill, it's not weak, it's not unfair, it's just a skill. Um, dogs, make that come back, they were awesome, like, hear your dogs coming in. <coughs> Alright guys, I'm just going to go over this list, see if I've missed anything, I'll be a couple seconds. Um, yeah, also, a better elite services. I was kind of upset with the elite services for MW3. They're not that good at all. I would, I would seriously regret buying it, really. The only reason I bought it is because of the maps. Um, combat record and stats. Bring back the damn combat record, please. Please, it's just so much. It was a thing to do while you're waiting in the lobby. It's just so fun to just go over people's stats, go look at the play cards, just doing that kind of stuff. And the customizable guns are awesome. Okay guys, um, this was my ideas for Black Ops 2. Um, I hope you guys listen. Um, guys, if you got any ideas for Black Ops 2, chuck them down in the comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, at the end of this video, there will be annotations left hand side annotation will be I have no idea and the right side annotation I have no idea what that will be either so click on one of them uh, hopefully you like them um, and do not click that button up top because all Call of Duty players in the world will die you don't want that do you? okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video goodbye